Okay, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino. It is Sunday, October 23rd, 2022, and this is my, of course, going to be extremely lovely markets a look ahead. Man, I look like who did it in rent, don't I? Anyway, all right, that's besides the point. Uh, let's talk you and me. We had, in my view, what happened Friday with regard to Nick the Pig and then how this got just, you know, coincidentally backed up by uh, Fed President Mary Daly. Uh, you know, it, it, it's pretty profound here. But nothing outside of what the Federal Reserve generally does. What am I talking about? So let's just put that into perspective real quick. We got to always look back before we can look forward and have a lot of stuff to talk to you about. So Friday morning, just prior to the open, we had a market that was set for a pan sell-off on a pretty big scale here. Dow futures were down several hundred points. S&P futures down. NASDAQ futures down. Gold and silver set to fall. Uh, everything was set to drop. All right. Then again, what happened? A miracle. A freaking miracle. Just prior to the open, I mean, literally just prior to the open, you know, this guy Nick here, <clears throat> so-called Fed Whisperer, the, the Fed Whisperer, he whispers about the Fed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, he, he gets floated out there and then all of a sudden, I mean, this market just, you know, ripped higher. Uh, substantial gain across the board, especially when what Nick said got backed up by Fed President Daly. What I want to know, I want to know who profited from that. Um, let's see. Do you think that maybe, you know, maybe Nick himself profited from that? Maybe Fed President Mary Daly profited from that. You know, maybe bought calls uh, on, on the S&P 500 index or something along those lines. A ton of money. A ton of money was made by somebody, maybe friends of Nick the Pig, friends of Mary Dolly, friends of somebody, maybe themselves, I have no idea, but I would love to find out who made money there, all right? Uh, someone did, and I, you can count on that. So, you know, an interesting turn of events here, um, pretty profound, and I want to read something to you. In fact, I want you to have a copy of this. If you are a subscriber to my free newsletter, check your... Uh, email box. You got. You already have that in your email box and I want you to burn a copy off, share that. It's pretty, it's pretty incredible and I'm going to cover that with you here. But just think, but let's, 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 let's back up a moment here. Uh, so what happened? We've been getting all these warnings, you know, IMF, Internet, International Monetary Fund or Mafia Fund as I call it. You got the World Bank, Goldman Sachs, Greg Manorino first before everybody here. Uh, major institutions, Bank of America, you know, with pretty stark warnings. And Janet Yellen, too, she's really worried. Janet Yellen's really worried, you know, about instability in the debt market. But everything was fine just before that. Oh, but Fed President Waller, he doesn't see it. He doesn't see anything wrong right now. Everything is just great. But um, coincidence, really, the MMRI, for the first time ever, crosses 300, goes into extreme risk. Uh, at the same time, Nick the Pig gets floated out. At the same time, Mary Daly, you know, backs Nick the Pig up, you know, through the back door. You know, you, you think this is all just coincidence this happened? No, I don't think so at all, all right? The fact of the matter is, we were at least on the cusp of a meltdown in the debt market, which would, just, you know, just wipe everything out. But, uh, oh, no, 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 it's going to get kicked down, kicked down the road here a little bit here. Uh, you know, look, and if this plays out to be true, that come December, there's going to be some kind of a pivot from the Fed's aggressive stance. You know, you know how serious the Fed is. Let me, let me explain this to you. You know, all this is bullshit, okay? Cat shit, freaking, whatever kind of shit you want to pile on top of it, hippopotamus shit, big stack to the moon here. When you hear how serious central bankers are, about doing something about inflation, especially when it, when it comes out of the mouth of a central banker, him or herself, okay? You know, the ghoul, oh yeah, the Fed, they're, they're not going to pivot because they're really serious about it this time. And they're going to keep 
continuing to raise rates, which is com completely ineffectual. It hasn't done a damn thing, nor is it meant to, as you have been made aware of, because we spoke about it right here, people, you and me. We knew, see, that's the beauty of this. Think of how lovely this is. Let's just, for, for a moment, imagine you and I surrounded with little puffs of loveliness, because we are, all right? You and I knew from day one, day one, that the actions by central banks raising rates wouldn't do a damn thing. It was never meant to do that. Think about this. Okay. So central banks, you know, they're very serious about fighting inflation. They float out this story that they're going to be raising rates aggressively, and that's somehow miraculously going to uh, affect inflation and bring it down. As we all know, many months this is going on. It hasn't worked at all. It's not meant to. It's meant to hit the economy and obviously hit the people themselves. Uh, and in some roundabout way, as it crushes the economy and the people along with it, it's supposed to slow down in inflation. Imagine imagine that kind of a scheme. Trickle down, trickle up, or any of these kind of schemes, they don't work. They're not meant to work. Duh. Can I get a double? Duh. 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 duh triple duh. Okay. But what would work? You know what would work? People contracting the money supply. This is a currency issue. We're in a currency free fall. A currency crisis. It's full blown. Anyway. With that said, I want to read this to you, all right? Just bear with me on this. And I want you to have I want you to have copies of stuff like this. It's important to keep in your on your computer. You can refer back to these things. Again, if you're a subscriber to my free newsletter, and it's really free, uh, there is a link in the description of this video. Uh, click on that if you're not subscribed yet. But if you are subscribed, you already have it in your inbox. And um, I want you to I want you to have it and keep it. So anyway, here we go. Ready? Fed blinks, but will it last? Here we go. Bye. Lovely me, of course. We're all lovely. Don't forget that. Here are the facts. What are the facts? Okay, here they are. Two major events are taking place simultaneous right now. Number freaking one. Freaking isn't in there, but I like to, you know, ad lib a little bit. So, uh, number one, the global debt market is teetering on the edge of an implosion. But how do we know that this is true? How do we know? Okay. Global bonds were, at least, uh, selling off rapidly, which is causing an uncontrolled spike in global bond yields. Duh. Okay, we've been seeing this. Moreover, the relative strength of the dollar continues to increase, which is clearly a fear trade. All righty. We have gotten warning after warning, and not just from me, okay, but from the World Bank, the IMF, Wall Street Superbank Goldman Sachs, and most recently from Bank of America, who said this, and you know what they said, people, you know what they said, fragile, fragile treasury market uh, is at risk of large-scale forced selling or surprise that leads to breakdown. Really? Honestly? Yeah, how about that's 100% true? Number two, on an absolute basis the purchasing power of global currencies is in free fall how do we know that this is true how do we know Duh. okay in real time we are witnessing the consequences of a full-on currency crisis in the form of punishing and worsening inflation on a worldwide scale you think this is by accident really honestly how about no with no end in sight and i mean zero central banks i'm just adding this in here have no intention to stop inflating the money supply None. Their goal, what is the goal of a central bank again? To continue to inflate. And, and what we're seeing now is an, it's unprecedented. Central banks in a very successful push here to become the lenders and buyers of last resort here. Okay? And they got puppet governments, you know, literally puppetized right now. Uh, with this act, with this this program, whatever it might be, funding wars, expanding wars, and everything else to continue to pull cash into the now from the future. We don't have any of this cash, people. The the other 50 billion or 51 billion that we're sending over to Ukraine now, where, do we, where, where does it come from? We don't have it. We're broke. Oh, I didn't, I didn't vote for that war, did you? Oh, yeah, but you're funding it. How do you feel about that? Anyway, here we go. For many weeks now, going back to this paper here, the issue of worsening instability in the global debt market has rattled stock markets worldwide, not just here in the United States. You see, what they try to do is keep you in a box. If you're in the United States and you think everything's unique to the United States, like surging inflation, like 
markets going all over the place uh, and everything else and economy and free fall. No, this is a global phenomenon because central banks are doing this by design, by design. Okay, collectively. Oh, 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 I forgot to mention. You remember when Yellow Stain Powell, you know who he is, you know, the Fed chair, he said, oh, central banks, we talk all the time. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but we don't coordinate. No, no, we don't, we don't, we don't do that. No, 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 no. Duh. Are you kidding me? Okay, anyway, look, every syllable that passes through the lips of a central banker is a lie. Every single one of them. They're all lying. They're d distorting the truth. They're having you look here or you should look here. You're being propagandized, and I don't see an outcry anywhere. But uh, anyway, at least you and I are trying to do something about it. So anyway, for many weeks now, the issuing of worsening instability in the global debt market has rattled stock markets worldwide. As of late, I have explained very forcefully... And that's the truth. In my daily market reports like this one, okay, markets to look ahead, here we go, on YouTube that without direct, without direct and immediate intervention by central banks to stabilize the debt market, this entire thing would implode, okay? What we got Friday was direct intervention here, people, with Nick the freaking pig and freaking Mary Dolly, those two freaks out here. I'm telling you, they probably made all kinds of money. Someone made money here off of what happened, and I want to know who they were. I really do. Okay, because if we're you or I, that's market manipulation on a grand scale, what Nick the Pig did, okay? But he's fine. Oh, nothing is going to happen to Nick the, P Nick the Pig. You know why? Because he's the Fed Whisperer. He's the Whisperer. Yeah. you got to be kidding me. Make this stuff up. <gasps> okay, so anyway. The MMRI... On Friday, crossed the 300 mark for the first time ever, reflecting that risk in the market has now hit an extreme level. Coincidentally, just as the MMRI crossed the 300 uh, threshold here, lovely Nick, however you say his name, Timararos, whatever, I call him a pig, okay, who's also known as the Fed Whisperer. <laughs> was floated out to whisper that it was highly likely that come December the Federal Reserve would pivot from its aggressive raising rates and the stock market ripped higher. Moreover, not only did the stock market surge higher, but the 10-year yield, which is the benchmark, dropped 10 basis points and the, the relative strength of the dollar reversed and fell. But it gets better. But it gets even more lovely. I'm singing in the morning. There's something wrong with me. Anyway. So, right after our lovely friend Nick was floated out to whisper, whisper, that come December, Fed would likely pivot. Also, of course, just by coincidence, people, you know, everything's always a coincidence here. Fed President Mary Daly made a public statement, also stating that come December, the Fed may pivot. As a result, big rally in the stock market. Okay, of course, you know that all these events... Uh, the repeated warnings, the MMRI crossing 300, the statement by the whisperer himself, Nick the Pig, uh, backed up by Fed President Daly, are all just coincidences happening all at the same time. Uh, this is just, just happened to play out like that, people imagine. Just, you know, no one so, can possibly have seen that coming. All right. Understand, this is the key here. All right. Understand, whatever action that that whatever action the fed or any other central bank may undertake here any attempt to stabilize this grossly hyperinflated debt market super bubble will only cause global inflation to rise even faster okay it's all inflationary but you're not allowed to know that oh no 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 because the fed's serious about fighting inflation you know they are moreover it would not prevent a total an absolute systemic breakdown of the global financial system from occurring. Ain't, ain't happening, people. All that will do is exacerbate the underlying problem and push it off temporarily. As I said, I want you to have a copy of these things. Certain things I put out are really important. And I always laugh into half of this thing because it's just, you know, you, you laugh or you cry or you have a freaking meltdown. I don't know, maybe it's a coping mechanism on my part. I want you to have these things. I want you to make a file. Seriously, save these things. Read through these things. Anyway, people, look. You know the deal. You know what's going on. Now, looking ahead to this week. All right. Let's see how the market digests what just happened with this whole thing here. All right, with Nick the Pig, with Mary Daly. You know, let's just see. Uh, are we going to see witness 
come tomorrow, uh, some stabilization here in the debt market, a weakening of the dollar on a relative basis, or is this all just going to fly away out the window? What's going to happen? What's going to freaking happen? You know, look, your guess is as good as mine. I would say this, all right. I'm going to go out on a limb here. And I'm going to say the market's going to be giddy. It's still going to have a little sense of euphoria tomorrow. Um, you know, look, if we get a follow-through rally after having this big rally on Friday and on the back of all this, that's obviously bullish. But we, would, we need to see a few things happen longer term. Without some, some stability here in the debt market, and a weaker dollar on a relative basis. This is over, okay? And, uh, you know, all the jawboning by Nick the Pigs, and who, of course there's going to be more Nick the Pigs out here to float out to talk the market up, and more Fed freak show, you know, who knows, maybe Lex Luthor himself, who did say last week, oh, the Fed's going to maintain its, its stance here. Oh, yes, they're going to be raising rates very aggressively. Yes, that's what we're going to do. You know, I'm talking about Neil Kashkari, freaking Lex Luthor. You ever look at that guy's eyes? They're like this. You know, what do they say? The eyes are the mirror into the soul. Well, look at that guy's eyeballs. And you tell me that guy's not like, I don't know, from the from hell or something. I don't know. He ain't, he ain't from a nice place here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going to keep our eyes on on all this, people. Moving into next week, focus again on the MMRI. We broke 300. When we got all this fantastic whispered news, came back down, came back, back down below 300, 10 year yield, reverse lower, re relative strength of the dollar. All right, let's see if this plays out moving forward. Is the market g going to laugh this off and, 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 and just shrug it off and go and say, okay, whatever, or, or are we going to drop? I don't know. We're going to see tomorrow. And I can tell you this. I'm interested to see what happens. And, and you know what we're going to do, you and me? We're going to do it together. We're going to go through all of this together. It's a freaking freak show on an incredible freaking scale. And uh, other than me looking completely ghastly today, don't look at that. I look horrible. Other than that, um, I'm sure you look lovely, all of you. You're all beautiful and surrounded by little puffs of loveliness. Oh, you know, never forget that, too. I, I, I brought this up many, many years ago, that we're surrounded by little puffs of loveliness. We really are, you know? And, and just, just, just keep that in mind as we wade our way, or frolic our way, through the freak show. Because it is a freak show. And I'm having some fun here. <laughs> Why? I have no idea. Well, maybe because we're together, and I enjoy this part. I really do. I feel like, I'm, you know, look, I sit here with this microphone and this camera here, but I really honestly feel like I'm talking to you, right? Honestly. And it, it sends chills, like, through my body. I know it sounds, like, it's really stupid, but I've been out here for a long time. And a lot of you have been with me for a really, really long time. And I don't know. I just, I love that. I feel like we're a family. This is our thing, you know? La Costa Nostra. Yeah, that's, that's our thing. Anyway, look, uh, I'm out of here. This guy here, again, loves you a lot. Share the video. Please comment. What do you what do you think about all this here? At least we're having fun. We, you know, this whole shit house may be going up in flames. But we're having fun! <laughs> and if you can't have fun during times like this, when can you have fun? Uh, will someone let me know on that? All right. Please um, get your copy of that. Um, again, if it's, it's in your inbox, if you do subscribe to my free newsletter. If you don't, Subscribe to my free newsletter down here and uh, get your own copy. This guy is like so out of here. And I will see all of you, of course, in the morning. And we will resume the festivities. I'm out of here.